Hello and welcome to One India News. I am Akash and I am back once again with the day's highlight at the Tokyo Olympics. Yes, how the day was today. Well, it was not a great day as far as India is concerned. So let's uh, head towards hockey first over here. India unfortunately lost 5-2 to Belgium in the semi-finals. Now the Indian men's hockey team uh, was defeated by Belgium in a closely contested semi-final match. Uh, uh, at the Tokyo Olympics, uh, now the Belgium defeated India 5-2, uh, which uh, saw the Belgium team creating chances with penalty corners and converting them into goals. Now, Alexander Hendricks scored three goals in the match for Belgium, which helped his team qualify for the finals. Now, John Dumain uh, of Belgium scored the fifth goal in the last few minutes of the game and Belgium uh, well, started the match on a very strong note as the first goal came in just few se in the second minute of the play. Now, however, Harmanpreet Singh of India scored uh, the first goal for India and helped uh, the team to get an equalizing uh, score on the score line. Now, India took the lead by scoring the second goal, which was scored by Manpreet. But once again, Belgium uh, had scored an equalizer from the penalty corner. All thanks to Hendricks. Now, Belgium uh, broke the deadlock in the fourth quarter after uh, their top scorer, Hendricks, uh, scored N two goals uh, and taking the tally of his personal goals, 14 uh, in the tournament so far. Now, the deadlock was not broken till the third uh, quarter as well, and uh, which resulted into uh, the fourth quarter and heading into the last 15 minutes of the game, both India and Belgium uh, they were very tensed, uh, and in the fourth quarter, it was Belgium who struck first as Hendrik scored his second goal of the match, uh, giving Belgium a 3-2 lead with 11 minutes left in the play. Now, just a few minutes later, Hendrik uh, got a hat-trick uh, as he converted a penalty sh uh, shot into a goal, and Belgium were leading at 4-2. And in the end, Belgium uh, was able to manage to hang on to the 5-2 lead that they got and register a victory and progress towards the final uh, for the second consecutive final uh, appearance for the team. So a great play there by Belgium. Uh, not so great by India, unfortunately. Uh, but yes, they will be contesting for the quarterfinal, uh, for the bronze medal uh, as far as India is concerned. Now, moving on to wrestling, not a good news over here as Sona Malik was out in round one. And uh, the young Indian wrestler uh, made her debut uh, in the very first round, but she was defeated in that same round by Mongolia's Bolo Turur uh, Helukuru. And uh, in uh, the 62, kilogram weight category uh, and of course that was because the Indian unfortunately adopted a defensive approach now the 19 year old uh, took a 2-0 lead uh, against the reigning uh, Asian silver medalist uh, from Mongolia uh, but she again uh, took another great uh, but the Mongolian actually played pretty well and with just 35 seconds remaining uh, for the contest to get over she uh, got a great move and because of what uh, because of which she got two points now the score remained 2-2 two -two till the end and since it was the mongolian who scored the last point with her move she was declared the winner on this criteria now sonam's coach uh, ajmer malik said that uh, sonam was definitely the better wrestler than her mongolian counterpart but uh, she made a mistake of being over defensive and that was her mistake. But nonetheless, uh, she definitely got a taste of the big stage. Of course, that is uh, what counts. And uh, win or lose, that is what you have to do. Now, moving on into athletics. Not a good day here also for India. As uh, Anu Rai is uh, out of the javelin throw qualifying. And she could not qualify for the women's javelin throw final uh, at the Tokyo Olympics. Finishing 14th uh, with a below par throw of 54.04 meter. And she began uh, with 50.35 throw and improved it to 53.19 meter in the second attempt uh, in Group A, which had 14 contenders. So the 29-year-old needed a huge effort to make it to the 12 women final. And though she improved marginally, but it was uh, not anywhere close to the 63-meter automatic qualification mark and the effort 
was also below par uh, as far as her own personal best of a 63.24 meter which she achieved in the federation cup earlier this year now talking about uh, tejinder pal tour uh, who was uh, the short putter for india he uh, also finished 13th in group a of the men's short put qualification round and failed to qualify for the finals uh, and his first attempt he registered a throw of 19.99 Uh, meters, but uh, endured two fouls in his next two throws because of which he was not able to make it to the final. So that is how India fared on uh, on today, as far as Tokyo Olympics is concerned. Now let's take a look at some international players also who achieved some really great uh, things for their country. Uh, let's first talk about uh, Sena Ari of uh, Japan, who actually won the first ever women's. featherweight boxing gold medal for her country now she claimed this by defeating uh philippines uh, nesty petisio now uh, with this gold medal she uh, irene has actually become the first female boxer uh, to win a medal for japan uh, when she secured the first gold for the tokyo in the tokyo boxing tournament by sweeping the third round uh, on all five judges card now a crisper uh punches won the judges uh in a bout that were, had a plenty of clinching uh as far as uh, petisio or from philippines is concerned she uh has to uh, settle with uh one medal that uh, that came for boxing uh, for uh, philippines since 1996 now the featherweight was one of the two weight uh, classes that were added uh, in olympics in tokyo now the women's a uh, field is also expanded uh, from 1 uh, to 100 fighters from just 36 fighters so that as a huge leap now moving on as india got defeated by belgium over here this uh, the second match uh, which happened today was between australia and germany and over here aussies uh, were on the top and they will meet belgium in the men's hockey uh, final for the gold contender now australia will play belgium for the men's hockey gold in tokyo inspired by the memories of the olympic glory of 2004 australia overcame germany 3-1 in a pulsating semi final now tim brand uh, put the kakaburas ahead there from close range after 7 minutes following a brilliant work by flynn and uh, after that it was lucas uh, winfelder uh, who level Uh, with a penalty corner as germany responded very quickly but uh, grovers uh, with his 96th international goal and seventh uh, of this tokyo game resorted that the kakaburas were in the lead and uh, germany forced much of the play in a combative uh, second half uh, with australia restricting uh, to rare breakouts and it was uh, uh, sharp uh, who secured the victory 90 seconds Uh, from the time after germany basically uh, germany played a huge gamble by replacing their goalkeeper with an outfield player and australia had made it to the semi finals by beating uh, actually netherlands uh, in the penalty shootout and now the world champion belgium of course they have booked their final spot in the finals by defeating india today in uh, a 5-2 match so it is going to be a great match for the finals where uh, Belgium will meet against uh, uh, Australia for the finals of the men's uh, hockey, uh, and as far as India is concerned, India will face Germany to determine who will get the bronze medal. And apart from that, uh, Kesten uh, Wallhof of Norway actually uh, obliterated his own world record in the Olympics 400 meter hurdle on Tuesday, finishing 45.94 seconds to break his old mark by. 0.76 now one of the most anticipated races uh, on the program uh, actually lived up to its hype now the second place finisher uh, rai benjamin of the united states finished in uh, 46.17 seconds now uh, one home actually tore up on his jersey uh, when he crossed the finish line uh, as he flashed uh, he flashed the same uh, mouth gaping look of amazement uh, as he announced himself 
on the world stage with his victory in the world championship in 2017. Now, Walholm uh, record came just 24 hours before Americans uh, Sydney McLaughlin and uh, Dahlia Mohammed are scheduled to square off in the women's 400 hurdle, a race in which they have actually broken the world record the last three times they have squared off at a major competition so that is one competition that we will definitely be eyeing on and lastly as we conclude the day let's take a look at the medal tally at the end of the day usa is on number one spot with 73 medals 24 gold 28 silver 21 bronze china is on number two with 69 medals 32 gold 21 silver is 16 bronze and russia is on number three spot with 52 medals 13 gold 21 silver 18 bronze and india are right now on the 64th position with two medals one uh, the silver medal that was won by mirabai chanu and the bronze medal that uh, PV Sindhu uh, born in badminton. So that's all we have today as far as the uh, highlights go for today at uh, the Tokyo Olympics 2020. We will be back once again tomorrow. Uh, till then, uh, you stay safe. And if you haven't uh, subscribed to One India News YouTube channel as of yes, uh, please do so. And of course, hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications of the video that we post.